So my dear viewers, welcome to today's message. Today being Friday 25th of October, October 25th, 2024. And the message is uh, for everybody, for the whole collective. My dear viewers, I hope you forgive me for yesterday. I called it out as Thursday, but 23rd instead of 24th, October 24th. So I hope um, you forgive me for that. And I do wish birthdays for those of you, of course, for Thursday the 24th. So I, I, ho I hope you understand that. There was a misunderstanding of me calling Thursday the 23rd of October. So I hope that's all okay with you. Today being, again, I will say, Friday, October 25th, 2024. And the message is for all of us. Welcome, everyone, and thank you all for being here. My dear viewers, I'm in gratitude for all of you and for all your support. And I'd like to wish you all my best wishes in everything you do. And those of you who are celebrating today, I wish you a great happy birthday. Someone very close to my heart is also celebrating today. And I wish them a very happy birthday. But I wish happy birthdays to each and every one of you. And also, I'd like to take this opportunity to say um, happy anniversaries or happy any other occasions for those of you who are celebrating today. I hope you have a glorious day. And my best wishes and blessings to each and every one of you, whether you are celebrating or not. Let's have a look at the message for today, for everyone, October 25th, and it says recovery. You are going to be going through recovery, whether it's going to be health matters, whether it's going to be emotional matters, financial matters, recovery is destined and imminent. That's a direct message from all your guardian angels, so that's beautiful. Let's have a look at the next message for everyone. And my dear viewers, of course, don't forget the four messages uh, for those of you who are new, um, those of you who are not new, of course, you're hearing this all the time, but I've got to keep repeating it. They're for all of us, these messages, but you can uh, turn them and um, make them your own by nominating uh, a question, a personal question, and getting a, a direct answer for yourself that's going to be very specific. Let's have a look at two messages before I go opening these. Um, the first message for October 25th for everybody, and we've got leadership. You're taking lead of a situation and controlling everything, and it looks amazing. You're doing well. You're putting an end to something that's no longer working. You're, you're implementing new plans, and you are, you are unstoppable, leading the way with so much confidence and power. The stag is an incredible, powerful spirit. Let's have a look at the next message for the collective. And we've got purification, Purify, purifying your life, removing all that which is no longer needed and bringing on, you know, what you love, what is important, cleansing, detoxifying everything out of your body, your soul, your mind and healing. And ultimately, you are going to be transcending to high levels once you do this in every way, whether it's going to be your home, your health, your family, your love life, your work. Everything is transcending to high levels once you go through the purification. And this is going to take about three, could be up to three months for everyone, for the whole collective to achieve this purification, starting from today. Now, let me go through these messages and then we'll get the other tar tarot cards. Let's see the four messages. If you're not ready and you want to ask something and specify, this is the time you pause it and then you come back after when you're ready and um, receive your answers. So for everybody... And those who have asked the question about and chosen this, it says the scholar. This is about investigation and research. Searching for some truth, ultimate truth. Could be work that you're just researching, work, study. But, or it could be something you're investigating. You could be a detective investigating something. You could be a police officer investigating something. You're doing your research, uh, research quite well. And you could be just a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, be upset with me, my dear Virgo. You are known to be the greatest investigators in the world, and your research is usually immaculate, just like everything you do, perfectionism. So you could be just someone researching something and investigating uh, a situation, but it's it's all about that. Somebody's doing that. Now, let's have a look. I'll put this over here. And the next one, it says the rabbit. The rabbit is all about someone very, very, very hypersexual it is about too much concerns with sexual matters maybe you're dealing with someone that's very sexual and they're they're perhaps their what's the word their attention is always towards sex maybe more than uh usual um another factor could be the rabbit can also mean uh reproduction uh, those of you who are 
maybe ha planning to have children or even having a plan to have children being pregnant is another one, the rabbit. And the rabbit is also connected to quick success coming away and Chinese year of the cat rabbit. Don't forget that. Okay. Now the next one. And timing with this one is four. Just so in case you know, it's connected to number four. Could be four days from now up to four weeks. Four days to four weeks for timing. And it's connected to April, just so you know, and Chinese year of the rabbit. Now, um, we have the same divine energy flows in each of us. This message here. This energy is the catalyst to our reunion. We just need to allow this energy to work its magic. Right, this is connected to a union. This is connected to the Chinese year of the tiger, Chinese year of the horse, connected to freedom, connected to um, family and connections, teamwork, connected to people that have Pisces or Aries in them, timing three days up to three weeks. Let's see if I can put it there. Yes. And then finally, the last one, it says grounding. Grounding yourself at this time is very important. You need to go deep within and explore all your roots, explore everything so that you can finally ground yourself and, and put yourself at a very comfortable position. Uh, grounding yourself is the way to go right now. Okay, that's beautiful. Now that we've established that, let's take two more messages for Friday, October 25th for everybody. We're cutting twice. So the first message it says, oh, wow, triumph, a great victory. This is the chariot, and this represents the Chinese year of <laughs> Chinese year of the horse, number one. But also it represents freedom, overcoming a major challenge, being free, connected to cancer, the star sign cancer, connected to people that might be born also um, on the seventh of the day. Chinese of the horse we talked about seven days from now as for timing. Now this could be in regard to a journey you're taking, overcoming a challenge in your car, your vehicles, your motorbikes, your boats, whatever um, transport situation could be like um, really freeing it from any problems. This is also taking a journey, planning a journey, um, planning the route of your life. This is about freeing yourself from something. And also, this is about overcoming a challenge and becoming victorious. A great victory awaits you. So that's that's plenty from one card. Let's have a look at, no matter how much I dust, the dust is everywhere. Now, my dear viewers, the next message, mm, the waiting game is over. The Two of Pentacles shows that you were torn. Some of you are my this moment as I speak. You might be still torn whether you should or not. Very, very soon. In, in fact, very soon, like within two days or maximum two weeks, you will know where you stand. If not physically, but emotionally or spiritually, you will be inclined to know what the best course of action is. It's like the universe is going to show you. Something's going to happen that's going to set the motion for you to know where you're heading. If you were torn between two passages or two uh, indecisive about two paths, you are going to be shown the way. There will be no more waiting. There will be no more not knowing. Maximum two months for everybody. Max two months. For two, within two weeks, you should know exactly where you're heading. But in two months, you will be certain 100%. That's the end of that one. Now, let's take four messages for the collective. To see what else. What else everyone needs to know for October 25th. The lovers. The lovers is about someone wonderful that you're connected to on a, on a soul level. This could be a karmic connection. This could be a twin flame. Could be a soulmate. Could be anyone that you are connected with on a very spiritual level. This could be a business partner or a lover. Either one. But it is calling you to make decisions. And, and for the majority of time, usually is a lover. And a decision is calling for you to to make so we'll clarify and see exactly what that is right the eight of wands very interesting mm. the eight of wands now that comes after this it makes me wonder with the two of pentacles wow i need to drink some water to put this together for you i've got it in my mind but to put it i gotta be very patient the two of uh, the, the eight of wands is about making a very quick decision this okay this is about decision this is about decision this is about decision now the two usually is connected to partnerships the six is, is already the lovers partnership love or otherwise the eight of wands is about making a quick decision to resolve a problem 
Here you're indecisive. You don't know which path to take. Here you're questioning. You've got to make a decision about a lover or a partner. So the Eight of Wands comes to the rescue. And how? The Eight of Wands shows that there are two birds with one stone. And what does that mean? That's a very old saying. It means you can resolve a problem with what with the eight of wands something happens some news information comes to light comes to you where you can resolve a problem where you're indecisive to make a decision and at the same time take advantage of an opportunity that comes out of this the only thing with eight of wands you've got to take action quickly you can't procrastinate and think about it too much and let the opportunity pass you've got to grasp it while it's there as soon as it comes in place that's what you have to do and when these three are united that's exactly what this means you are going to be given you know how i said there's news or information coming the waiting game is over you're going to be able to decide well the eight of wands is going to give you that the decision that you need to make with the lovers the eight of wands is going to provide you that so it came at a perfect place the Two of Swords, there is an ending to a chapter. Something's reached an impasse. We had the impasse yesterday. We've been having it for the past, what, six months maybe. Some situation in your life is ending. For the collective, this is for everybody. Some chapter is coming to an end and you're moving forward to the next level. Uh, in, the mo well, in the process of this, you don't see it, they don't see it, there is denial, there is a situation where, you know, people, with the Two of Swords, people think there's still hope. We'll find a resolution. There is no resolution. A dead end. It's absolutely over. Two of Wands is about relocating. This is being indecisive, not knowing should I, shouldn't I. Not the two. This two here. All the twos are here. You've got the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is finally leaving a situation that's no longer working. Whether it's work, home, business, money, whatever it may be. Love. Number one, love. Relocating, moving forward. To a situation where it's going to be much better so you need to ground yourself now i know why grounding is needed because um you are destined um to either you know make decisions of movement one two three four okay that's about it what you don't see happening there is going to be a business proposal maybe that's why you're taking the lead a business proposal where there's going to be a lot of profits your leadership um and your skills are going to be needed here to join together with someone, you're starting a team, teamwork together and making a lot of money. A lot of profits are here. So um, investigation and research can also be about a business. This is yet to come. Looking at uh, a business and this could be connect in connection to an earth energy, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. That's what you don't see happening and coming. Let's take three more messages from another deck to see what they want to confirm and reaffirm for us or give us any other information that didn't come up here the truth for the collective wow how amazing the synchronicities magic business together teamwork collaboration working on something magnificent something glorious that is going to give you a lot of profits teamwork a lot of glory here abundance is coming but working in teams together so they've just um Confirmed and reaffirmed this is happening. Our heavens. The two of swords, again, they've confirmed and reaffirmed that this is an impasse. Nothing can be done. It's just a matter of time where you're both, party, both parties. So sometimes one party never sees it. That's why they've got the blindfold. Uh, somebody else sees it that every resolution is failing. Everything, every attempt is failing. And it's over. This is very close to the five of swords. Absolute ending. Now, um, this could be connected to no, it's not. We'll leave it at that. Thank you. The next one, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This shows hard work is going to pay off big time. You're nearly reaching to the end of something magnificent and very hard that you've been working on. Now, the ending is very important, and it cautions us, the Eight of uh, Pentacles, to pay attention to detail, not to miss out on any, not to make any errors, especially if you're dealing with, you know, your focus is needed, your eye for detail is needed. You might be dealing with money, you might be dealing with contracts, documentations, putting things together. You can't afford to make a mistake. So eye for detail, eye for, you know, being, paying attention uh, and not making any mistakes is very important at this point in time. And finally, in the finale, what you don't see happening and coming is the Three of Wands. We have the Three of Wands and there's the Six of Cups saying goodbye to the past. So... 
I'll discuss this in a moment. Just let me take these cards before they fall. So the Three of Wands shows expansion, opening your mind and seeing the bigger picture, knowing that you're moving away from something that's no longer working, knowing that it might be hard, but you're, you've got the power, the strength, and the rewards from the heaven to support you move forward. So ex you're expanding your mind. You're looking at what's your option, what's next, how to proceed. But in the process of this, you are leaving the past behind you. You're taking the memories, but you are leaving it and letting go of the past. And if you're not, you should. That's what this is all about. This is what's coming. This is what's happening. So purify yourself, detoxify, remove anyone or anything that's unwanted and move forward with confidence, without any hesitation. The heavens are with you. You are going to be triumphant. You are going to be successful. There's opportunities coming your way. Um, there is business. You are going to be united with someone. You're not alone. October 25th. Here we go. So we got two messages while I was talking. Now the first one is the seal. And the seal is about... Business contracts. Remember I said, okay, you're taking a lead and there's business here. The three of pentacles is business. Very important that you see this. And also in the process of this, what have we got that connects to this, my dear viewers? What connects to this? This. The eight of pentacles. So when there's contracts, remember I said you've got to pay attention and, and focus on details. So that there won't be any problems, especially if you're joining a team. Because this uh, was shown that it's yet to happen. And, and then it shows, yes, it's about to happen very quickly. You've got to pay attention to detail. It is so imperative that you do. And so that there won't be any mistakes or later you might regret and once everything is signed up. That's very important, number one. Number two. Okay, I'll just put this here. I'll put this one here. Uh, in regard to the seal also shows documentations. You need to pay attention. But there's gift of money. Now, a gift of money could come with paperwork. You know, somebody might give you a big amount of money and say to you, like, you know, I entrust this with you. Start this project. Do this job for me. Or they might say to you, this is a gift. It's actually a gift. It's not actually a work. Somebody might give you a gift of money and they might get you to sign a document. Just pay attention that you're signing to the gift and there's no other hidden matters in a contract. Just be sure. Um... Sometimes this could be just a windfall and you're signing for it and getting the gift of money from the heavens. A lot of times this could be in regard to careers uh, to do with writing, clerical work, freelancing, paperwork. But the most important factor about the seal is about you're staying put in something and something is becoming sealed and yours. And the gift of money are the strongest part of it. Then we've got getting what you love. The love is all about emotional spending, joining finances. Now this could be again to do with this, joining finances with others and being so happy that you're starting something wonderful, that you are going to make a lot of profits. Uh, this is also about, um, you know, investigating, maybe investigating and reinvestigating a situation like they were saying here, researching to start a business together. You might be given the job to do that. This is so important um, that you understand. You might be so excited and you're given a lot of money to start investigating putting money together, buying a business together, a business of your dream. So you're exci excited, you're investigating, wanting to know all the ins and outs to everything. And also, uh, this can mean that um, you're being supported. So the three of um, pentacles is about being supported. That's so important to know. Support is coming your way in every way, supporting you to move forward. So, um, and getting exactly what you love. So if you always wanted to have your own business, and with the three of wands there, I just feel like you're expanding to get your dream life, dream business, something you always wanted, and you're supported by others. You're not alone. Hand in hand, you are supported. With Someone is on your side. So this is magnificent. And um, this is having the job of, that you love, having something you love, and it's also about you know working in teams, as in counseling or... Um, Supporting others, you know, doing guidance work. That's another factor, guidance work. Okay. Now, that's that one. Let's see what else you need to know, my dear viewers. Two more messages. October 25th for the collective. So we got the first one, and it says retreat. Some of you are going away with a lover or loved one, disconnecting from the world and just wanting time out between you and someone. 
going away and loving it. And the next one shows honeymoon. Some of you are going on your honeymoon or second honeymoon, but certainly it's going to be like honeymoon. It's going to be very romantic. You're going to enjoy the bliss of a beautiful whole day together with someone that you truly love. How magnificent is that? That is truly incredible. Okay. The message for today, October 25th. And it says a twin flame. Twin flames, your passion is about to ignite. The igniting of passion, which is really beautiful. And, and that is incredible. Okay, let's go further and clarify everything that we need to know. Starting with the two of swords, um, the end of something. Wow, you are going to be empowered extreme power like magic things are going to be moving your way even though this situation is coming to an end it's an impasse it's going to be giving you the power and the glory to move forward so that's beautiful excellent let's see what else with the two of swords wow how amazing one of your wishes is going to be grand remember i said that the two of swords is like the five of swords where it's not only an impasse, but it's out of your hands. You're defeated. There is no win. Every win, every attempt fails. And this is going to release you. This is an absolute release from a major situation. The two of swords three times with one of your wishes being granted. Once this is over, your wish is going to be granted. This is a situation where it's reached to an end. Nothing can save it with the five of swords nothing every attempt fails every resolution fails every time you think you won but you've lost this isn't about only you my dear viewer this is about all of us each and every one of us in this regard in this situation and what comes to the rescue is one of the oldest wishes being granted at a time where you are reaching an impasse in one area of your life not every area one section only very important to know that for the two of swords, and you are triumphant, remember? You are going to be having your victory. So it is an area where it's defeated, and finally one of your wishes is going to put an end to this um, painful ending. It's not that painful because it's like something you've always known, maybe, and you've been trying and trying and trying and over-trying, and every attempt is not working. Uh, now, let's have a look at the victory. The chariot. The victory is going to be overwhelming. Great news is coming to give you the go-ahead. Yes, you can do this. A lot of money, a lot of wealth is coming also. This victory could be a windfall. Could be news about a windfall. Because it's victory, could be a great windfall. A lot of money. Have a look at your money reading and see what it says. There is a gift of money also. We have to see that. We can't forget about this. The gift of money is there. And we've got money. And we've got news coming about money. So this is very possible that you could win a windfall. This could be um, a real, true windfall. And news could be coming like, you've won. You can do now. Get ready. Where do we put the money? You've won. You've won big. That's what this could be. Very easily. And we got the victory too. To show that. Now, some of you will be grieving the loss of this uh, Two of Swords. It's not going to be easy. But it is imminent. It's destined. Um, let's have a look at the the lovers here, or the collective. Right, the lovers are working together. Interesting. A new lease of life, a new beginning emerges. Connected to air energies, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But before that, you might be working with your lover, you know, in a in a in a place together, in a business. Now, but now that we have three times again, we have this two of swords, three, and now we've got this time three. This shows to me, in regard to the lovers, that the decision that it's calling for you to make is connected to some sort of connection of working together. What, what it seems to me like, finally, something is coming to clarity. Something is becoming so clear that you are empowered and you are able to make the right decision. Maybe you didn't have the whole truth. Now you do. You're seeing clearly and you're finally going to make the right decision. This decision is not going to affect your money because your money and your profits and working um, in team, that is there and it's supported by the heavens. Nothing can change. But you are going to be empowered to take action in regard to your relationship or to your partnership. And you will do well. You don't have to worry. 
because you'll have the power of seeing things and you are going to be in absolute leadership connection there it is leadership so you'll be doing well making the right decision and no matter what happens you are going to be empowered like magic things are going to be moving forward for you so without hesitation without any um, worry things are going to be moving forward for you let's have a look at now the two of wands relocating that's going to happen again uh, being shown the truth again could be connected to air energies Aquarius Gemini Libra you might be dealing with someone or you might be uh, an air energy or dealing with someone that has air energy in them but there's a lot of money coming this money that's coming it could be an inher inheritance it could be a windfall it could be the gift of money that we talked about this is very important and it could be coming from someone of air energy, possibly, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Gift of money and a lot of it. Money is coming to you, ground-changing money. So that's why they're saying you've got to be grounded. Because there's money coming and, and you need to be grounded. You need to really soul search what to do and how to proceed. Because some of you could be thinking of relocating, moving to a better position, to a better place. So that is very possible because you are getting what you love. Don't forget, uh, getting what you love and this money makes me really wonder. And we've got the wealth also on top of all of this. We've got the two cards of money. We don't have the nine of pentacles. Yesterday, we had the nine of pentacles three times in yesterday's reading. Today, we have the four of pentacles and the ten. The four of pentacles is about unexpected large amount of money. That's life changing. Then the ten of uh, coins is the highest level of wealth coming your way generation of wealth getting what you love and the gift um gift of money makes me really wonder what this could be i'm seeing the the three of pentacles three times in your reading i'm seeing you take control and being empowered with the magician the power that comes from money so i feel like you are going to be empowered big time a lot of power is coming and bringing you a lot of wealth. Wealth that you will really think how to invest and what to do with this. Today, again, in the reading, we had a lot of money coming and you need to get advice on what to do and how to invest it. So really, my dear viewers, think about it because you are going to be loving it. Yesterday, we also had dreams come true. Today, we have twin flame and, and honeymooning and love. But yesterday, we had your wishes and dreams being granted for you twice in the reading yesterday so and now we've got a lot of money and getting what you love and the gift of money so there's a lot here for you to think about and consider and freedom yes so we have this two of freedom from cares and worries that's magnificent so that was in regard to the two of wands right the two of wands some of you are moving relocating i feel like air energies also are connected to this relocating uh, someone very wonderful, Earth Energy could be very supportive by your side. That was relocating and money is, due to money you'll be able to move. Maybe it's going to give you the power to move forward. This is connected to Earth Energy. Remember that when I showed you Earth Energy here, Virgo being either Virgo number one or Taurus or um, Capricorn. But um, there is so much to celebrate. So much to celebrate. Now, let's have a look at the Eight of Wands and see what the Eight of Wands is all about. Uh, we have... Uh, a new project, the beginning of prosperity, and again we have uh, the chariot. So you are going to be triumphant without a doubt. Big victory awaits you, amazing victory awaits you, the beginning of prosperity, and you are going to be feeling absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. This is magical. My dear viewers, absolutely. So whatever opportunity is coming, you know how I said you were torn between? Remember we were talking about being torn? I'll just put this back. Uh, the two of pentacles, decisions are going to be, the eight of wands is going to help you with the chariot to overcome this obstacle and to become victorious. Um, so I'll just do this again. And all your questions will be answered. Finally, you'll have your answers. Let's do the two of pentacles for the collective. There it is. This was yesterday. I was telling you that you need advice. This is a major radical change in your money where you will need advice. That's why I said to you, money is coming from all angles and all avenues and making you really think and rethink things because um, the gift of money, number one, the seal is the gift of money. And then you've got the wheel of fortune, which is the wheel of fortune is a lot of money and extreme luck 
fortune extreme like and then you've got the four of pentacles which is all about wealth and the highest level of wealth so it's just extraordinary what's happening here absolutely extraordinary and this is what's helping you move forward where you don't see uh, coming is seeing the path clearly, having the power to see the illumination, to see your path, where you're heading. You'll know where you're heading. You'll know there's a new start. You're expanding. You're growing. You're empowered. And we'll finally do the Eight of Pentacles just to see uh, what, how much caution do you need to be with the Eight of Pentacles. Right? This could be in connection with a, someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Rebirth, a new start, a new lease of life. When you're dealing with water energy, maybe... Uh, to pay attention when you're working for maybe you're an accountant working for a water energy pay attention to detail but there is going to be a rebirth that's for sure a new way of life but someone someone is leaving sadly leaving a situation behind and moving forward now let's have a look at the chinese cookies and see what is there for us to know what else do we all need to know one message and we need one more october 25th and there's the other one let's have a look Right, it says difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. So we've all got to be careful for that. Friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness and your excellent counseling, counseling skills will put them back on track. This came yesterday and again. So someone is going to reach out to you and need your help. Make sure that you're there for them, helping them. I mean, do your best. That's all I can suggest. The rest is up to you, your decision. I hope you enjoyed this reading, my dear viewers. It was incredible and so much going on. The most important factors are a lot of money is coming, a lot of extreme luck, the beginning of prosperity, getting what you love, the gift of money, lovers making decisions, moving forward, twin flame coming, empowerment, and going on holidays. Love holidays here and there. Lovers trips. And honeymoon for some of you, or planning your honeymoon for others, so or a second honeymoon for some. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Give me a thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's absolutely free, and don't forget to watch the video all the way to the end in support of me. All my love, all my light, everything, all my blessings to each and every one of you. Namaste.